So hello, 10 Ton Hammer viewers. We are here live at PAX 2009. I'm Jeff Ethic Wolfslego for 10 Ton Hammer. I'm here with Jeffrey Stiefel, executive producer of Lord of the Rings Online. And Lord of the Rings Online had some quite exciting news that we woke up to this morning. <laughs> um, tell us what you're doing here with the Siege of Mirkwood. Yep, we'll so just this morning we announced our uh, second expansion, which is going to be a digital expansion, the Siege of Mirkwood. Uh, it's been, as everyone knows, probably about nine months since Moria came out, so we're pretty excited to, to get something to the players this quickly. Um, so we're going to just kind of talk a little bit about, give an overview of what uh, Mirkwood's all about and uh, what players can expect, and then we're going to actually jump in the game and uh, I'll show you some of it. So, first thing, just bottom line, We've talked a long time about how once we got past the Misty Mountains, we're really getting closer to war and war's brewing and you know battles are starting to happen and players are going to start to be a part of that. So part of Mirkwood is starting to uh, you know follow that train of thought. So you've gotten through Lothlorien, you've you moved on into Middle Earth, and what's basically going on is that in Dol Guldur, which is an old tower uh, from you know ancient times that was uh, that was the home of the necromancer who was basically Sauron. And so this is, you know, this is the tower where when they talk about Gollum being uh, tortured that he was actually being taken to. This is another sort of uh, main front of Sauron's. And what's going on basically is that they are, um, Sauron has um, put a lieutenant Nazgul on the top of Dol Guldur who is building an armored army to go attack Lothlorien. And so we've been asked, the players, by um, Elrond and the, uh, the elves of Lothlorien to help them actually do a counterattack preemptively and go rescue some prisoners from the jail and sort of siege Mirkwood and keep uh, Dol Guldur from actually reaching out and, and doing the attacks that they want to do. So um, it's really, really cool. So is this the sequel to Mines of Moria or is this kind of a continuation of it? Fair enough. So, so this is the conclusion, the epic conclusion to Volume 2, which was started with Moria. And then next year early, we'll start with, you know, Volume 3, Book 1, and it'll start a whole new epic story, you know, which obviously will have a lot to do with what's going on here. So we're in Mirkwood now, and just to kind of give you a sense of how this fits into the overall picture. So we've come through Moria, Lothlorien, and now we're here in southern Mirkwood. Here's Dol Guldur. And uh, this does a number of things. First of all, it pushes us further into sort of war territory. It gives us a lot of opportunity down here where actually all the real big battles are happening. It also puts us into Mirkwood, which is kind of cool, because as we know, over the next couple of years, there's going to be some movies coming out. Um, this part of the world is going to become interesting for us, and so there's lots of opportunity there. Um, this all fits together. It's awesome. It's funny how that works, huh? And so here we are on the edge of the, the River Anduin. Um, and in fact, we're right here, and this is one of the first places you get introduced to, you know, the elves are basically like, this is what's going on, we've come from Lothlorien, we need your help, we've got to get into to Mirkwood, I can actually take a boat to Lothlorien from here. Um, give you a sense of what Mirkwood feels like, Let's see what time of day it is. Yeah. So again, more this sense of dark, foreboding, you know, tangled woods. And you'll forgive me, I'm going to be doing all kinds of cheating and, you know, running fast and things like that. It's the only way I can talk and walk and kill all at the same time. I haven't, I haven't gotten good enough at doing that. Um, so again, just a very different vibe than some of the other forests we've been in in the game. I'll show you another. I like the fog effect. Like, yeah. It almost makes you feel like something's yeah, there that makes it. You don't know what's coming, but something's coming and it's probably not going to be good for you. <laughs> um, so then if you go into some of the instances, I'll just show you some of what it looks like and then we'll actually go into part of one. So we're here at um, Dol Guldur. Yeah, I will in a sec. So, so first of all, I just want to see that you've got all the uh, fell beasts swimming up top here, flying around. You're going to end up there eventually. Let me go back. Ah, run away. So, this huge tower, for whatever reason, let me, um, I'm running on a laptop, this running client end server, and every once in a while it's getting warm, the graphics, or that's why you don't see the tower as well as you should. So let me uh, change the time. Fun thing, do not try this at home. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can see, you know, these are where these guys hang out. Um, this is where you're going to be very, very soon facing off against one of these guys. So if we actually go into the tower, 
And uh, I'm going to just skip ahead really fast because we're jumping through instances here, and so a lot of the mobs aren't where they're supposed to be because the, the game just is confused about where I am. So I'll skip ahead to somewhere where I can show you some of the cool mobs in here. So what we're going to do here is get to the end and enter into the sort of the third portion of the raid so I can show you what some of the mobs look like and hopefully get you to the boss at the end, who I will not attempt to fight. Not going to happen. So these guys are kind of cool. And again, all I can do here is just <laughs> cheat. And no, we will not be shipping the skill I just used. But you can see me cower all over the place here, the tons and tons of Tons and tons of dread. You're going to need a lot of radiance and other things just to get through here in first place. This is not for the faint of heart. Yeah, they are very cool. And if you could actually hear anything on the show floor, they sound cool too. All right, so we're at the top. And of course, it ain't over yet. And I'm not showing you all the raid mechanics, splitting up bosses, all the channeling and stuff you have to do, because obviously, um, can't do that with one person. I'm figuring out how to do that yet. No problem. <laughs> and obviously, there's specific strategy to actually getting through those guys. Which, no, I won't talk about. I want to get home alive when my devs are there. All right, so bear with me. I'm running extra fast up these stairs. I've just determined is very perilous. I've fallen off here a couple times. <laughs> Oh, that's embarrassing. All right, let's see if we can get there before they do. So we won't be seeing the fell beast as a flying mount? But... Yeah, it'll be. Oh, it's a flying mount. No, no, no. no. 